yes. giving you the same reading. But when you do those calibrations, it's a continuous set of measurements. Well, as I understand it, the NASA's satellite temperature data measuring the troposphere showed no uh, warming from 1998, uh, and arguably some say since 1995, and no unusual trend since the start of satellite temperature data. And I'm not sure why that would be a problem. Well, the ground-based temperature data has been massaged to show an increase, but the satellite data shows no increase. Uh, but you were talking Sorry, about... Sorry, before you go on, the ground-based data has been massaged. By whom? Now, just, just wait, Chief Scientist. Oh, by so whom? By uh, NASA's got it into the space. By there. NASA. And the reason they're doing this is... Well, perhaps we should ask them. Well, have you asked them, given yes, that I you're have, alleging they... that they've massaged art? That's a very uh, serious allegation it against is. a group of people who helped to propel us to the moon, who are held in very high regard across the world, with whom Australia has a very strong relationship. We cooperate with each other in space communications. It's a very serious relationship for Australia. You're alleging that we're dealing with a group of people who massage data and essentially dishonest and fraudsters. Is that right? Yes. And I need to be very, very clear that the NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies is a small group within NASA. I'm not talking about the whole right. of NASA. I'm talking about a so, small... So NASA have lost Senator, control you of the Institute. Question, you asked me a question. NASA's Goddard Institute of Space Studies has within it a small group responsible for climate. And those people have been shown to have manipulated the data unscientifically. And I'll be happy to go through that discussion with you. Have you raised this issue with the US administration, with the FBI, with any... I have within the I American have administration that could take action right. against these fraudsters? I have raised it with uh, people who are close to the Trump administration and I have sent copies to senators and uh, one other administration person. Yes, I have. And you might notice that NASA's got a Institute of Space Studies has been taken out of climate studies now by the Trump administration and sent back to space where it belongs. They haven't been sent into space, but they've been sent back to... <laughs> no. I see. No. All so, right. um, Dr but, Finkel... But, but hang on, but hang on, no, no, but hang on, because um, it, it's one thing to debate the science, but I want to get behind your motives in this regard. Are you alleging there's some global conspiracy of like-minded scientists who are essentially perverting uh, instruments like the UN, the US administration, the Australian government, uh, for what purpose? Well, Madam <laughs> Chairman, point of order, with respect to the Minister... Uh, estimates are an opportunity for senators to ask ministers and public servants questions, not for ministers to be querying the motives or operations of individual senators. Well, I'm, I'm Senator McDonald, my problem is this. There's a whole series of questions we minister, can go sorry. through, but I want to find out exactly what is behind it. Well, I'm not sure that this is the place for that, Minister, with respect. Uh, I've set up for, a dialogue this with... This is for senators to uh, ask you and... Uh, and senator Senator Dennis is a senator. Not, um, <laughs> not for um, <laughs> ministers to question the motives or uh, background. I'm not questioning the motives. I want to find out Thank what is Thank you very much. I'm, Thank I'm for the happy point of order. I suggest, to Senator Roberts, that you think so, about how you phrase that. Yeah, I'm happy to answer Senator Dennis. Senator, can I return to your... I'm happy to answer Senator Dennis's question. No, I'll just answer Senator Senator Dennis's question. I don't believe there's a global conspiracy. I've never said there has been. In fact, I've deliberately steered clear of using the C word. Am I happy to discuss what I think are some of the things driving this in our conversations, which is what the chair is pointing out? So we'll take that up with uh, Dr. Finkel.